Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're going to play Legendary, Legendary Inventors. Inventors. All right, so Legendary Inventors is uh, designed by Frederick Henry, um, published by Bombix and Asmodee. Yes. Um, plays two to five players in about 40 minutes. And no special setup. So, right. so we're going to take it to the table. Take it to the table, we'll show you how to play. All right, welcome to the table. Here we have Legendary Inventors. They're so legendary. They are legendary. So. We've each selected our own group of four inventors, and I've chosen the blue, essentially. Mm -hmm. So I've got my cubes, and that's yep. really all you need is your four boards. You've taken yellow, so you want yes. to go through who your inventors are. Okay, so I have um, Robert Boyle. Um, he did, like, fermentation of vegetables. The gas they man. They produce gas. He's the gas man. Yes. yes. Um, and I then know what have... else produces gas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have Blaise Pascal. Um, and he did um, the calculator. Yes. And uh, also public transportation. Impressive. Which is fantastic. Um, Galileo, Galileo, which obviously we know, Milky Way. I think like we that. know, so yes. Like telescope in the back. And my personal favorite, my cousin, Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, well, maybe he wasn't a sir. He might not have been at that time. At this point in time. I don't know. Sir Isaac Newton. All right. So I have Johannes Gutenberg. Mm hmm. Who, what did he do? Printing press. Oh, the printing yeah. press, that's right. That's why he's got that big book. He does have a very big book, and he's holding it the wrong way. But Leonardo <laughs> Fibonacci mm -hmm. is known for the Fibonacci circle. He's yes, a mathematician. The golden ratio. And the mathematician. Golden, golden ratio. He's a mathematician. And we have Hildegard von Bingen, mm -hmm. who, dis, uh, who, who actually was a, a doctor and a nurse and yeah. studied anatomy. And she studied uh, dietetics. Dietetics, think, yeah. really, yes. Yeah. So she, she was ahead of her time when she thought that eating vegetables was a good thing. Mm -hmm. And meat gave you the meat sweats when you eat too much meat. So uh, very important. Did she call it that? And she did. I hope she Very did. important to know that. And uh, Nicole or Ors Oresme, mm -hmm. he uh, discovered longitude and latitude. Yeah, it's very important. So very impressive okay. people right? Um, that we are going to bring. And, and I think the game comes with um, five of them in five total. Five sets. Five yeah. sets, rather. And they're each from a different era. So each group you get is from a certain mm -hmm. specific era. Yeah. Um, so we just chose two that we thought were pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, some of the run of the mill, but others not so much. Yes. And, uh, and we're going to go with that. So what do you do? So let's go quickly over the, start, the setup. So we each have our corresponding colored cubes. We each have our four inventors. And each inventor has uh, different traits and what they're good at. And, and each one has a starting value of that specific trait. So the four traits of importance for this game are uh, physics, mm -hmm. chemistry, mm -hmm. mechanics, and mathema mathematics. Yes, mathematics. Mathematics. Yes. Mathematics. 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 All right. So what that shows us is how much they can contribute to the research of a specific invention. And those will be seated in a few seconds. So, uh, so for example, uh, Johannes Gutenberg starts with a level two of mechanics because that's what he's good at. So everybody else has different starting values and we've placed these little tokens in here and those can be upgraded um, at any point during the game. We'll show you how that's done as mm -hmm. well. Um, there is a player one token, but I don't really think it comes into play very much. Leonardo da Vinci. It is right? indeed. A I bust. It is a bust of Leonardo. of Leonardo da Vinci. I don't think it really comes into play though in a two player game. Yeah, we're because do that anyway, what, what that really signifies is how you resolve ties when it comes down to payouts for uh, collecting rewards once an invention has been fully researched and because there's only two of us mm -hmm. it's really going to come down to yeah yeah so I don't, I don't know but I guess so I guess cool then again if we are tied and there's yeah, two of us it it's going to go to the one with the yeah, bust exactly. so yeah I guess it does matter so either way so there we go here we have our reward tokens in this nice little baggie mm -hmm. they've all been shuffled up and we're going to start setting up for the first, we'll call the first stage, right? So what you do to set this up is basically set out uh, the number of cards face up for how many players there are plus three. So in the two player game, we will put out five. So I'm gonna place five inventions or patents, I believe that mm -hmm. they're called out in the offer. And now these are available for us to research. And each of these inventions is going to have 
uh, different requirements. And once those requirements are fulfilled, that, um, that patent is fully researched and somebody can claim it. Or they claim the patent, I mm -hmm. guess you call it, right? So what do we have? We have the oil lamp, we have the water clock, smoke signals, <laughs> cave paintings, and papyrus. So this is going way Why do back. we need chemistry for smoke signals? I don't know. I guess fire. You need <laughs> I chemistry guess so. for fire. Yeah. Uh, so the way these score, and I'll go over that really quick so you know why we're taking what we take. Um, the ribbon in the upper right-hand corner is how many victory points that owning or claiming this, this invention is going to reward that specific team of inventors. Um, and the number up here is a set number. So this is essentially a set collection game in mm -hmm. some aspects where you want to, they call it a run. So this is like a number three. So the, 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 the uh, inventions of the patents, they run from zero through five. And you'll score extra points if you're able to complete a run of your patents from zero through five. You'll get bonus points for that. Um, but outside of that, once you, um, we're going to go and take turns and we're going to be placing and, and researching uh, together or separate, really depends mm -hmm. on how we want to do this, um, each of these inventions. Once we get down to completing the second to last invention out here, that'll end the round. Mm -hmm. We will uh, clear out everything and then start H2. So real simple, ready to roll. We're going to have two different actions per turn mm -hmm. and that's really it. So our first action is going to be um, put one of our inventors to work, right? So the so I will take, for example, like Mr. Gutenberg here, and I will I will exhaust him, mm -hmm. put him to work. He's going to be busy now, so he only gets to do that uh, one sort of action. And I will assign the number of cubes equal to all of his skills that he has to any one of these cards, and I have to assign every one of his cubes to only one card. Uh, up to the, its capacity. Any extra cubes get returned back to my supply. Uh, and then that's my turn. Once a card is filled, it's then scored and the person with the most cubes on it gets first choice of the rewards. So the next and last piece of setup is I'm going to place two reward tokens on each of these um, inventions. And the re reward for the winners for both of us actually, as long as we yeah. both have at least one cube on, there, yeah. on us on any one of these tiles, we will get um, a choice of either the invention itself or one of the two reward tokens. And each token has a different sort of effect and different special ability and they can all be used at any point in the game and they do not count as an action. It's mm -hmm. a free action. And we'll go through what each of these uh, as we can. Symbols means as we uncover them. So there we go. That's the setup. And I think what we'll do is we'll kick it off to you. You've got the uh, the bust, the Da Vinci bust, <laughs> yes. and I'll let you go first. Okay. All right. All right. Kicking it off. Oh, man. All right. So I'm going to take Isaac Newton, who has... Uh, he's got what is this physics? One physics and, mechanics, and one right? mechanics. Yep. And he's gonna go to the oil lamp. Boom. Okay. Okay. I uh, huh. I think I will use Nicole Oresmi, mm -hmm. who has physics and uh, mathematics, mm. and he will go to the cave paintings. Ooh, nice. Put him to work. And I will use Blaise Pascal. He's got engineering and math, right? No, he actually uh, has uh, mechanics, mechanics and mathematics, yes. And he will go to... Actually, maybe he'll go up here to the water clock. All right. Okay. Yep. Uh, I think... I, oof, yeah, it's gonna be tough. I don't have very good ones here. You you don't really have chemists. I I don't at all. These are very weak in chemistry. I guess I can use Hildegard von Bingen. Mm-hmm. one physics and one chemistry, and I'm okay. gonna go straight 
here. Okay. And forfeit my physics. Mm. All right. Um, in that case, I'll use Robert Boyle, who has two chemistry. Oh. And finish that up. All right. Well, I'm glad I did that. There you go. So that works out for you. All right. So how do we score this? So what you do is once a an invention has completed, you line up the tokens, and the player with the most tokens claims the bust. The Vinci bust. Which would be me. Mm -hmm. And the I also get to choose one prize, right? So you get to choose one of three things. You could either choose the invention itself mm -hmm. and acquire it or patent it. Or I could choose one of these two different rewards. Now this two reward can be used to level up one of my level one skills. I would just place it on top of the one and it becomes a level two. Mm -hmm. I could do that any time. And these, these rewards can be used at any time in the game. And this reward here is called the additional knowledge token. And what it'll do is it'll allow me, uh, when I'm placing tokens onto any invention, to place two additional tokens regardless of what skills my inventor has. So that's, that's pretty, pretty powerful. Uh, but I think what I will do is I will take, I'm gonna take the two. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Um, and I think I will actually take these things. Okay, so yeah. the invention actually gets discarded and it goes out of the game. Mm -hmm. We take our tokens back. We take back. our tokens back, and now the next player goes. Okay, so you're up. I am up. Was that surprising? <laughs> <laughs> you seem shocked. That was such a surprise. You You're usually such a uh, set collector. I am, but I think I have a very weak chemistry team, mm -hmm. so I need to, to buff up Bolster my skills. Bolster a little bit. Just a bit. So, <clears throat> what I think I'll do is I'll use my Leonardo Fibonacci, and he gets two mechanics, but I'm only going to be able to play one here, so I will do that. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Galileo, and he's got one um, chemistry, and then he's got one physics as well. Right. Um, but if I use my token, I can do two additional? Yeah. So that goes here. Goes, I'll take that. That goes out, that of, the out game. of the game. Yep. I'll create a yeah. Let's create a little bin for that. A bin for those. And I'm gonna go work on smoke signals with him. So I'll get to place the one that I already have my knowledge in chemistry, mm -hmm. and then I can place an additional two. That is correct. So we'll do that. So I'm going to rest all of my man, my man, <laughs> and woman this round. So I've just rested my inventors. Okay. So now they're ready to roll. And I have to follow suit because everybody's exhausted. Oh, good. <laughs> Very good. So I'll start off with Leonardo Fibonacci. And I will use one of his mechanics. Well, because I can only fit one here to mm -hmm. complete the smoke signals. Mm. It's his math, right? His What's mathematics. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. So you get the token because you Kay. have the most. And you get to choose first um, from this set. Want. Yeah, um, I'm going to take those victory points. So this is Thanks. Vic straight up victory points, yep. and I'm going to take the card. Great. So I, I patented smoke signals. Good job. And I'm also, at any time, I can uh, apply this point, so I'm going to put that on uh, good old Hildegard von Dingen. Okay. So now she has two. I've just trained up her one to two chemistry. Great. Uh, and it's your turn. All right, I am going to use Robert Boyle, mm -hmm. who has two chemistry, and I'm going to finish the water clock. Very good. Boop. Okay. All right. So you get first dibs. You already have the bust. Mm hmm And mm, those are good prizes on there. They're very good. They're very good. Um, I'm actually going to take the three. Okay. Have at it. Which one would you like? 
I'm gonna take the patent. Okay. Actually, not. I'm gonna take the victory point. Okay. And I might use it later. The victory point. Well, I could use it as a victory point, or I could use it as a one to oh, level right. up any skill. All of these are one. Every yeah. every one of these rewards has a one that mm -hmm. you can use to to skill up a a guy a guy in any of their zero slots. Okay. So, so you're, you're done, right? I'm done. You're up. So what I think I'll do is I'll use Hildegard von Bingen because mm -hmm. now she has two chemistry. And I will put them here. Mm. Okay. And I will use Galileo, who has one chemistry and one physics, which he'll forfeit. Mm -hmm. And go right there. All right. So you get... The dibs. first dibs. And I'll take the patent for the oil lamp. You will. Yep. And I will take the two, and this will get discarded. So that ends the first age. So now we have a number of things here. Mm. I'm not sure what I want to do with those. So, <laughs> I know. Um, so simple. Uh, we cleared the table, mm -hmm. and now we bring out Ooh, the next oh, set of I did not prepare well for that. No, you didn't. <laughs> Whoa. It just got real. Yeah. It just got real. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some reward to it. Because let's see what we have out here. What do we have? Building wise or uh, inventions? Uh, we have they? the pigeon post. Okay. Uh, we have the printing press, which you should get, right? I should. <laughs> thematically. Thematically. Yes. Um, the hourglass. Like the sands of the hourglass. Uh huh. Uh, the viola. Just like an instrument. Yep. It looks like a lute or something. Uh, and the caravel. The caravel. Worship. I mm -hmm. like that one. Okay. So that <clears throat> is that. And that ends the round. All right. So the way we step into this next phase is that everything stays as it was and are uninterrupted. So all of our busy inventors are still busy. But the player to the left of the Da Vinci bust goes first. So mm, that works out for you. That would be me. And I'm going to throw this two on good old Nicole here. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, he's got some better physics, I mm -hmm. think. And what I will go for is... I'm going to use them actually right away. So he's going to have two physics and one mathematics. And I think... I'll probably want to go here. So two physics mm -hmm. and one mathematics. All right, your turn. That's good. Um, okay. Hmm. I grabbed that big upgrade. I can't do anything with it yet. You could. <laughs> I could put it on a uh, rubber boil. Now keep in mind. Uh, now I don't think we've explained this, but yeah, every inventor kind of has um, a ribbon going down the right hand side, and essentially, um, it's giving you what their optimal uh, skill set would be. So, for example, Johannes Gutenberg, uh, he starts with two mechanics, but for him to be at his optimal uh, ability, I guess you could say, he would have one physics and three mechanics, and that would get, gain you an additional three victory points at the end of the game. So you do get benefits for right. uh, upgrading certain stats on each of your inventors. Right. All right, so I'm gonna use Mr. Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. Mr. Isaac Mr. Newton. <laughs> Mr. Isaac. Now he's just Mr. <laughs> Cousin Isaac. Cousin. Cousin Isaac. Cause. And um, I'm going to put one here. And then he's got one mechanic as well. So I'll put that there. All and right. Europe. Who do I have left? I just have Johannes Gutenberg. Ah, uh, Mr. Gutenberg. Okay. Professor Gutenberg, I will increase his physics to one. So he's going to get one physics and two mechanic hmm. and he's going to go one physic and two mechanic. mechanic boom and he is exhausted okay hmm all right i'm actually going to rest my people 
even though Mr. Blaise Pascal is still out there. Okay, I will follow suit and okay. you get to go now next. It's my turn again. Um, All right, I'm going to use Robert, Robert Boyle and his two chemistry, and I'm going to go here. Interesting. Put some on the map of the hourglass. And I will use Leonardo Fibonacci mm. for two mathematics. Fantastic. That and works. I will finish the hourglass. Good. All right, so I get the bust. Mm -hmm. There you and go. I did most of the research on that. You one. did. I totally just you can have that back. jumped on it. Yeah. You did. You <laughs> rode my coattails. I, I did. You're very long <coughs> coattails. <laughs> they are very long coattails. <laughs> and oh, this is a tough call here. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, this is really tough. I, I think I'm going to take the two. Mm. I'm going to take the two. So I'm going to go ahead and equip it right on Nicole as well. So your call here. Mm. That's a tough call. It's so hard. It's so difficult. You, you think you want to just oh. take you, you, the obvious choice. You'd be like, oh, I'll just take the invention because yeah. it's worth points. But you but need to work that way. You need to, to skill like, these guys I, up. Do I do my set? Like, what's going to give me the most here? Yeah. I don't know. All right, I'm going to take the one victory point. Oh, boy. Another set down the drain. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're not doing well. <laughs> okay. The sets. Okay. Your turn. My turn. Okay. Wow. All right. Ugh, I don't really want to do that. The game is so short, too. <laughs> I'm like, am I going to get the opportunity? Oh, I have this one. What was that? That's my one. My victory point. Um, Alright, I'm going to equip this here, I think, on Isaac Newton. Uh, but I don't, I'm not going to use him yet. I don't think I just wanted to do that. Um, and I'm going to go and use Galileo. He's got one uh, physics and one chemistry. And I'll stake some claim over here on the pigeon post. We're sending mail. By pigeon? By pigeon. Pigeon post mail. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do I want here? This is tough. This is very tough. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use Johann Gusenberg mm -hmm. and put two mechanics on the Caraval. Okay. So there's no more room for physics there. Mm. No room for physics. Nope. Hmm. 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 Is right. Yeah. <sighs> this is like. It's, it's like such an, a light game, but it's like so challenging. All right, Blaise Pascal is going to work. He's got an engineering and a math, and he's gonna go here. Okay. So he's got mechanical, mechanics. Mechanics and a math, yeah. It's the beginnings of engineering, right? I guess, <laughs> if you say so. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will use Nicole Oresmi for his, well, he's got two physics and two mathematics, so I can only put one physics, but I can put two mathematics. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to rest all my guys next turn anyway, right? I I'm going to use so. Isaac and... All he's going to use is his skills in math and finish that musical instrument with you. <laughs> Excellent. Way to go. Thanks. 
All right, so help yourself. Um. Okay. Um. All right, I'm gonna take this. All right. So I took the three, and I immediately upgraded Hildegard's. That's great. Chemistry. That's good. My turn. Yep. All right, I'm resting, everybody. You're resting. Yeah, they're all so tired. They're like uh, coming back from all their inventions. All stuff. right, so I'm going to then commit Hildegard mm -hmm. to chemistry on the printing press. Mm. That's good. It's really good. That's very good. That's very good. Hmm. None of my guys like really match up to any of these things. <laughs> Which things. is very good. Is it though? It's it really is good, yeah. Is it that actually? Alright, I'm gonna Alright, doesn't matter, these are my only real guys with mechanical skills, so I'll exhaust Isaac again. All I'm using is his mechanic skill. And you're up. And I'm going to rest. Okay. So you can go ahead. And, and, and then I'll do Blaise Pascal will also go to work, and he'll use his mechanical skill here, and we've finished the printing press. All right. You get the bust. And get first pick. Mm-hmm. I will take a two. And I can upgrade right away, right? You can. I'm just going to, because I already know where Any I time. put that. I'm putting it. Right there. I'm trying to think if I really want that. What, the card? No, the two. But I'm gonna, two? I'll take the two. I don't yeah. want the card. The card is going away. Okay. I'm actually going to use it as a one, mm. believe it or not. I believe it. And I'm going to use it on one of my guys' skills. Just not sure whose. Uh, I think I'm going to put it on his mechanics. Skill. All right, so that was your turn, right? So those mm -hmm. are yours. Yep. I've got all sorts of guys. That's good. I will use him, okay. Leonardo Fibonacci, mm -hmm. to put two here. Hmm. Yeah. You sure? Yep. Positive? I'm absolutely positive. Okay. <laughs> um. <sighs> this is really kind of a wash. I don't have any mathematicians right now kind of active. Mathematicians? Mathematicians. Hmm. You must rest. Um. Yeah, I think I... Uh, I mean, I guess I will rest. There's not really a shot of me getting first pick at either of those right now, so... No shot of me? No shot of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. I... 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 I think... I'm going to use Nicole Oresme mm -hmm. to put one of his physics and two of his mathematics to Kay. complete that card. Cool. So I'm going to get that, mm -hmm. get all my chips back, and I'm going to take the three. All right. And um, I think I'll take the invention. So I'll take the pigeon post. Pigeon post. Pigeon post. I will give it to... Johan. Upgrade them to a three. And mechanics. All right. Oh, so okay. this is done. Okay. These go out of the game. Okay. Let's come off. This is now discarded. Mm -hmm. And we're done with the second age. We're on to the I third. I know. I only have one so invention. Quick. You do? That's oh. Gonna be, that's going to be a problem. Well, you got to get more. You, I do. People are all beefed up now, so. They are. I should be able to go. You should Ooh. be able to really get some good stuff. Ooh, cool. This is so quite we have an age. All right. Uh, you're going to get to go first this round. Yes. 
And all of my people are arrested. They are. Mm -hmm. Mine are not. <laughs> all right. Mine so, are busy. Do we want to put the tokens? Oh yeah, let me do that. Sorry. Prizes, prizes. Oh yes, yes. And yes. we've got the cinematograph, cinematograph, <laughs> cinema. It's a cinematograph. It's a cinematograph. Okay. Um, the Gatling gun. Ooh. A photography. Uh, the stopwatch and the telephone. All right. Wow, there you go. Whoa. Okay. Some big skills coming out. All right. Okay. Lead us off. All right, so I'm going to take Sir Isaac Newton. Um, and he has now two physics, one mechanic and one math. He's got quite a so bit. So he's got, well, he's Sir, he's Sir Isaac now. So he's got two of those and he's got one mechanic and he's got one math. So he's taken over photography. Clearly. Right? Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, so you really want that photography, huh? Yeah. I like photography. Right? Yeah, you do, actually. You do. I'm probably then going to go and I'm going to go and play the Gatling Gun with mm. Hildegard von Bringen. Okay. So I get one physics physics, and two chemistry because there's not enough room for three. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'll take Blaise Pascal and mm -hmm. help you out there. The Gatling Gun with okay. his one mechanic and two no, one mechanic and one math, right? There's one and one. One and done. One yeah. and done. Wow, he's not very well skilled. You know, he's working on other thing. <laughs> he's he's got a lot of projects going on. He does right have now. a lot of projects. <laughs> uh, I will go with Johan with one of my physics and all three of my mechanics. Wow. And go for the stopwatch. Okay. All right. Hmm. I see. Interesting. I will take. Hmm. Robert Boyle out, I guess. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I guess I'll take Robert Boyle out. So he's only got his two physics. And two chemistry. Two chemistry, yeah, sorry. And he'll go out here. All right. To the cinematograph. A cinematograph. Cinematograph. I'm resting. Cinematograph. Okay. You're resting. Okay. I'm resting. Okay. Mm. Then I will take Galileo out, and he will work on the telephone. Whoa. Right? Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Okay. I will then... Mm, this is tough. It's a tough call here. Okay, I'll use Johann Gutenberg to put all three of his mechanic abilities onto the Gatling gun. Nice. Okay, so that's complete. Nope. It's not, oh. There's one mathematics have... left. All right, well I gotta rest, so you're up again. All right, so I will then spend my Hildegard mm -hmm. and put all three of her chemistry on the photograph. Mm, okay. Hmm. That's tricky. All right, 
I'm gonna take Newton. Newton? Yeah, I will take Newton. And he's gonna go work a little bit more on the telephone. So he's got his two physics and his one mechanic and his one math and we need to get some of these off of here because i'm like out of cubes that's okay <laughs> nicole or uh -huh. and actually the rule came uh -huh. with a little pamphlet that said that if you run out of tokens uh -huh. you can use um tokens or cubes from another player not being used oh is that right yeah so you don't okay. run out yeah i don't think that's happened so nope so okay. i'm going to use nicole and i'm going to put one here Mm. On mechanics and two oh, okay. on mathematics, so nice. I won't even put yeah. the cube down because I'm okay. out of cubes as well. Yeah. Uh, but that fills it, okay. so you get a bunch back. Great, thank uh, you. And we get to decide if we want to go with fours. Ooh. And I get first pick, right? Uh, you do. So I'll take the four. Clearly. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. a nice card. I'm gonna take the telephone actually. Yeah. And patent that. Yep. Okay. So, cool. my turn. Yeah, and you had the most, so you get the bust. Okay. Well, you finished it though. It, oh, is the finisher gets I think the, the finisher bust. Gets yeah, the yeah, bust, you're right. So. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to take Blaise Pascal, and he's going to finish the Gatling gun. Oh, indeed. Mm -hmm. So I have the most. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take one of these cubes. Okay. Well, not the cube, but the... Yeah, the token. The token. Okay. Of Sounds appreciation. Good. And what are you taking? And I'll take the Gatling gun. Of course you will. <laughs> All right. I'm actually going to turn this into a one. Okay. And give it to good old Nicole. Okay. And that was your turn, right? That was my turn, yes. All right, so I'm going And to I get the bust. You get the bust. I'm going to rest. Yeah? Mm hmm Okay. Whew. Hmm. This is not good at all. All right, I guess I'll just use, well, I'm gonna actually use Galileo and his physics ability, and he's gonna go help working on the stopwatch. You're up. All right, I'm gonna use, I'm going to use Nicole, and he's gonna use his chemistry and one of his mathematics to okay. finish this one. Nice. So I'm going to get the bust. Okay. And I'm just going to take... I'm going to take the photograph. Okay. And... You had the most tokens on there? I did. Mm. Um... Oh, this kind of stinks. I guess I'm going to take... Did I have the, the most tokens on the photograph? I don't know. But that's okay. You can have it. I anyway. might not have, actually. I don't think you did, because I think I filled it up, like, a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, either way. But it doesn't matter. Did I, you want the photograph? No. Okay. No, no, no. You can take... Um, I was um, thinking about it, but I won't. I'm going to actually I'm take I'm fine with two. either. I would have taken the tokens as well. Yeah. It didn't matter to me. Okay. You're right. Yeah, I think you did have more on there. All right, okay. Your turn. My turn. Um, Let's get down to the wire. Oh, this sucks so bad. Um, this is not good. All right, I'm gonna use Robert Boyle, and he's gonna put two here. Yep. Okay. I'll use Johann Gutzensberg, and he'll mm -hmm. use one his one physics and two of his three mechanics to do that. Okay. 
And I have to rest so you're up again, if you can. Okay. Hmm. What do I want to do here? So I'll just use Hildegard von Bingen to put one physics on here. Hmm. Please, please, Pascal. We'll finish that up. Okay. So you get the bust. You mm -hmm. finished it. You get first choice because you have the most. Um. All right. I gotta think for a second. I want air. Oh, that sucks. That is not the one I wanted to finish. <laughs> so why'd you do it? <laughs> Well, because I couldn't do anything else, and you were going to finish it anyway. Oh. Uh, so. Oh, well. Um, okay. Well, I could do... We can use these as ones, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll take... I will take the th three. And I'm going to take the three. Okay. Victory points. And I'm going to turn that into a one. And anyway. I'm going to turn this in. That's going to become three. And that's going to become a one. And that actually works out. And that anyway. ends Whew. the game. All right. So let's get set up for final scoring. Okay, we're all set for final scoring. Okay. So we basically score all the points for our inventions that we've completed. Mm -hmm. um, we would get point bonuses for any runs, but the runs have yeah. to be... They have to start from zero, and then go up one, two, three, four, five, and four. However far up you go, you get that many bonus points. Mm -hmm. Neither of us, <laughs> you're missing a one there. And I'm, um, yeah. Because had you had the one, you would have had zero, one, two, three, and you mm -hmm. would have gotten three points for that. Yeah, and they have a five, so. And then if you had the four and five, so you can get a maximum of five points for the That's run. where that star token would have come in handy. It would have come in handy there, yeah, because that would have been your one. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Um, we also score points for any of our um, skilled up inventors. Mm -hmm. So if you successfully skilled them up, uh, then we'll score that. So what do you have? And any okay. extra tokens? So I've got, so I have this extra token. So I have three, uh, for these, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then that would be twenty-four, so twenty-three. Twenty-three points. And I've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nineteen, twenty-five. Perfect. Yes, yeah, 23 so to 25. Close. Very close. All right, great. Let's go talk about All it. All right. All right, there you have it. Legendary inventors. Yeah. What'd you think? I feel legendary. You do. Yeah. I feel really legendary. <laughs> what did you think? I liked it. You had fun. Yes. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the game. Let's All right, so uh, let's start with replayability. Replayability. So I think that this game has a ton of replayability. Uh -huh. For such a small package. Yes. So you have five different sets right. of inventors that all have completely different yes. starting attributes. We'll say that. Five right? sets of four different inventors, right? right. Yes. Yeah. So it's a That's lot. 20. Yeah. <laughs> that is 20. That is 20. See? You're like a mathematician. I am already. I'm a mathematician. <laughs> And you've got you know your three different ages mm -hmm. uh, of inventions, and you know we only used a, a, a you know a, portion, a small course, portion of yeah. that deck. Um, so that obviously, for at least for two players, will create a tremendous amount yeah. of replayability there. Um, and you know I, I think there's so many different strategies in scoring mm -hmm. that every time you attack this game, it can be you know do I go for uh, skilling up my inventors? Do mm -hmm. I go for trying to build that set or that run yeah. of inventions uh, for when you patent the inventions? Or do I go for collecting the chips? You know what I mean? Because right. those, are, those are good points as well. Well, and they're dual use. They're dual use. And is, every chip is dual use, which yeah. is great. So yeah, I, I'd say this one has a certain, I, I'd say this is a high Pretty replayability. High. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely. would agree. Uh, what about weight? Light. This is a light game. Yeah. Very it, light game. Yeah, uh, uh, unexpectedly light. You know, yep. I didn't think it was going to be just because you think of 
uh, this sort of theme almost. Yeah. It, it just kind of breathes like, oh, this is going to be a heavy game. You know, we're right. going to be creating adventures and all that stuff. But no, it's it's. I'd say it probably falls into the filler category because right. any game in that 20 to 40 minute, you know, right. like what is really a filler? And I think there's no real filler that's going to play in less than 20. Yeah. But a, a little meatier filler, uh -huh. you know, is going to hit that 40 minute sweet spot. Yeah, I would agree. I, I mean, it's definitely light, but and I think I even might have said this while we were playing through it. Mm -hmm. For a light game, there is some complexity to it. There's because a lot, there's yeah. So many different ways that you can, you know, move around and get points and so many strategies that you can take. So, you know, it it's still, you know, it's not completely brainless. Right, and you have... All. And you only have two things you can do. Yeah, you could, I mean, when you, you break could, it down. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you set one of your guys to work or you rest them all. Right. Like, that's it. But right, you exactly. have that, that means so much in this game right. because there's so many things to do. All right, so let's talk about components. Okay. Uh, I think this is where um, the developer hit the ball out of the park on this Absolutely. one. Absolutely. These, these components are off the charts good. I yeah. mean, in every aspect of good because... Yeah. From the minute I started punching this game, I know it was. I just the minute I punched the first uh, inventor board out, I said, "Oh my god, this like, is look at this. you got to look at the thickness of this cardboard. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Like these are the thickest. They're pro they're almost boards. like I, when I when I picked it up, I was like, this is almost like a coaster. Yeah, like a are. thick coaster. This is a th thick cardboard yeah. on these things. These are sturdy, but for good reason too. Because yeah. I like how um, when you're leveling up your players, instead of having like a player mat, which I guess would have been the other way to do this. Yeah. Like having a tableau, you have your people, and then you're like using different, you know, little chits or, or something. Sliders, like yeah. Sliders to upgrade. Instead, you're using this kind of like, almost looks like a brass knuckles. Like Yeah, yeah you could literally put you your know, fingers like you through this Actually thing. put your fingers through there. And um, you just stack your, you know, little tokens and right they inside. Fit and they perfectly. fit perfectly. And it's perfect. And you just have, you know, your one little dude. It's, and they're like they're great. The art is art's fantastic, incredible yeah. in this game. Like I love the art. It's every card, every mm -hmm. inventor is just beautifully drawn. Yeah, uh, very vibrant, very colorful. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, everything about it. I mean, the, the production quality here is, is some of the best. Yeah, yeah, some of the best I've seen. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about theme? Theme. Yeah. Well, I'll let you talk to theme. I. Love the theme. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean I'm a, I'm kind of a sucker for anything that's um, kind of historically driven or you know scientific in nature. So yeah. naturally, I was drawn to the theme to begin with. But to see it play out and the way that they uh, the way they developed it and really uh, carried through, you know, the theme through the characters and all of that. Well, characters, I mean historical figures. Yeah, really, these are historical was figures. Great. Um, the game comes with actually a. Um, biographical booklet. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> each invent like the like deepest nerve, like nerd nerve in my body. <laughs> 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 because um, you can actually read about you know the the people you're playing about, and it's not like a like a book. It's like a couple paragraphs that explain kind mm -hmm. of what they did, why they were important, and um, you know I'm into that kind of thing. So yeah, you really get to kind of feel the characters. I mean, we spent you know a couple minutes just kind of going through before we played. Right, who are we? You know, we knew some of them obviously, and then right. others were like, well, I remember that from like science and what yeah, you've heard time. these names for the most um, part but it, that i really enjoyed and the fact that it played out and i guess this kind of speaks to you know theme so it's like while you're playing you know the printing press might have actually been a good thing for johannes gutenberg to get or yeah yeah because it would have made more sense your like later age um inventors had you know higher chemistry and stuff sometimes right. so I don't know. It worked out. I yeah, really, no, the really, theme really, 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 really fit. And, you know, we, we obviously avoided some of the more mainstream inventors choices. Yeah. Like, you know, they had a, like, one of the sets of, of inventors was Tesla and Edison. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. we just did a whole big Tesla Edison right, we did. battle. So, I think that's, I was like, ah, let's steer away from those. Go yeah. with some of the more classic ones. So, right. yeah, theme is, is, is great on this one. Yeah, yeah. theme was fantastic. Um, all right, fun factor. That's Do a lot I of fun. No, nah, this is a fun game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you, you should be able to tell, at least by the playthrough, that this is just, it's we just really fun. It, it. it moves fast. It does. It, you know, you, you, it, it's you're, part of the challenge. Yeah, it's, it's very challenging, but it's yeah. also so quick that you've got a limited amount of turns mm -hmm. to do all these different things right. that by the time, it, when, once it ends, you're like, man, I just, 
I just started getting strong well, enough to start yeah. buying a bunch of stuff, but then it's over. Yeah, and I feel like, I mean, the way that I usually gauge fun is like, what I, what do I want to play it again? Like when I'm done with it, do yeah. I want to play it again? We, you know, when we get done playing this game, we want to like pick it back up again. Yeah, you want to different people. Start over, or, play with different you know, set. Start again, or you know, try to do a different strategy or something. Yeah. So go for the set um, next time. Yeah. Instead, so you know? definitely a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, setup. Uh, set up on this one's not bad. You yeah. know, it, I think it's just a matter of once you get used to those little little chips in your player boards. Yeah, I mean, you you literally you just pop them, them in, in, but they they so. go in easy. You know, you shuffle the three decks. There's not a ton of other components here. Yeah. They give you a nice little baggie to, to put the bonus uh -huh. chips in. So and you just mix them up, and it's it's a very simple setup. Yeah, very simple. Yep. Um, audience. So who do you think of this is for? I think anybody could play this game. Yeah, definitely. like this could go from your. This would be a great. Yeah. Uh, entry level game. I think so too. You know, like a gateway yeah. game, like boom, this is, you throw this on the table, people will get it. It's mm -hmm. four symbols really yeah. that you need to know and then they're all on the cards and you yeah. can move cubes. It's very And I feel like like I feel like younger people could play this game too. Oh, like yeah. I think it's I, I mean, I think it's like 10 and up kind of thing on, you know, on the box, but when I yeah. think of it I'm thinking like um, you know, like the kids and they're doing like all the STEM stuff now and everything, mm -hmm. so they could definitely get into the theme of this as well. Oh yeah. Um, and we have some younger family and stuff that, you know, we could definitely bring this out for too. But yeah. it also plays well with... I think you could bring this to your we gaming group definitely, too. Definitely, we will bring this to our gaming Yeah, group, like so. this is this is a game you, you pull out after you've played your big heavy yes, hero. Like exactly. this, like you, you go heavy and then you go light. And this is light enough, but not so light that, you're, yeah. that your heavy gamers are going to be like, eh, I'm not going to yeah. waste my time with that. But you know, it, it's, you pull this on, you put this on the table and people are going to go, ooh, what is that? Yeah, Because it absolutely. just, it pops off the yeah. table. Yep. So yeah. All right. So conclusions. Conclusions. Yeah, I think this one hit the head, uh, you know, on the nail so many places. Or it hit the nail on the head. Oh, it maybe. did hit the nail on the head. Didn't it? <laughs> yes, in so many places that um, that yeah, I'm gonna give this one a brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this because of of how fun it is, mm -hmm. how high quality the art, the components, the the mechanics are tight. Yeah. We played different strategies yep. and we were really close in points. Yep, very, I, very I love a game that that has that kind of balance mm -hmm. and maintains it and it's just it's a lot of fun. A game like this that you want to just throw on the table. Yeah. You know, as soon as you're done playing it, like that that says everything right. It there. was solid. Yeah, like, this is a solid solid, solid clean game. And super fun. Yep. So there you have it. Brilliant. Okay. Yep. Thanks for watching. This was Legendary Adventures. Uh game was provided to us by Asmode. Mm -hmm. Uh, for this demo and this for this review. So thank you to them. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. See ya.